So after much deliberation, coupled with my PC constantly popping up with the notice of want to try Windows 11? Hey, hey, we think you'll like it. Come on, just try it. Everybody's doing it. I've decided to finally make the switch to Windows 11. This may seem a little late, but in all honesty, I haven't had a real reason to switch. Windows 10 has been a good and faithful friend to me, but I think it's time to try something new since a lot of the initial bugs are fixed and Windows 10 is reaching end of life. So in this video, I'm gonna talk through my thoughts and first impressions of Windows 11. So hopefully this will provide some value and some insight if you're thinking of upgrading yourself. Let's get into it. So first off, I wanna talk design and the visual appeal of Windows 11. Right off the bat, this is a huge upgrade in my book. The interface is clean and modern. I'm a sucker for the rounded corners, honestly, and I love the vibrant colors and fonts of the new UI. The menus are snappy and the animations are a nice touch as well. I can tell that Microsoft took some of the best bits of Windows 10, upgraded and reimagined them, and probably took a lot of inspiration from Apple as well, let's be honest. So as someone who's used both Windows and Mac OS for many years, I'm definitely, I definitely appreciate that Microsoft has made an OS that isn't unbelievably clunky like many of their others. So when it comes to functionality, when compared to Windows 10, I haven't run into any issues yet. The settings are quite a bit different, which has taken some getting used to, but luckily the search bar works great to find exactly what I'm looking for when searching for a specific configuration or setting. I love the new and improved task views. That was a feature I used all the time in Windows 10. Being able to quickly snap two windows equally on the screen, it's just super helpful when you're referencing two documents. But the introduction of the preset views brings even more functionality to the table. However, I don't love the start menu or the all app screen. Like, what is all this junk? But I know that that's something that I can customize later on. So in terms of boot, I have a pretty budget desktop and obviously I'm booting from an SSD, but boot times are super fast and definitely faster than Windows 10. So using Windows 11 at home has been smooth sailing so far. I only use my desktop for two main purposes, and that is recording and editing these videos and a little bit of gaming. I haven't had any issues with the Adobe Suite, which I kind of expected. As simple as it sounds, I actually use the built-in Windows sound recorder for my voiceovers, and I really like the new UI of that default app compared to Windows 10. I haven't tested a bunch of games. I mostly play Halo Infinite and Modern Warfare 2 with my friends every so often, and those are all very modern games. I am kind of curious to try out some other titles from my Steam library to see if I have similar results. I have a feeling that might not be the case with older games, but I guess we will see. So as a network administrator at work, I've started the process of upgrading a test laptop to Windows 11 and installing all of our company apps on it. This will be an interesting process to not only learn more about how to use Windows 11 in an enterprise setting, but also to make sure that any of our legacy applications don't have issues running. So luckily I don't have too many to contend with and we use the latest suite of Microsoft 365 apps, which those should be a breeze. I have however heard that domain joining can be a bit of a process and that's something I definitely wanna try out and make sure that all our network resources are accessible with no issue to users. So if you have personally deployed Windows 11 in an enterprise setting, I would love to hear your advice and your thoughts down below. Thanks. So to finish things out, here are some of the best settings to change when you're first installing or upgrading to Windows 11. Number one, uninstall any useless or unneeded apps. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uninstall ClipChamp Video Editor. I don't need that. And let's see what else. Got the Solitaire Collection. That's a staple of Windows. I never play it. We'll go ahead and uninstall that. Two, disable notifications. And so you can kind of choose if you want to completely turn off notifications or if you want to adjust for specific apps and where the notifications will pop up on the screen. For me personally, I'll probably turn off all notifications. Number three, set your default apps. So you can easily search for what type of app. So if you'd like a .pdf, if you're using Adobe, you could change it to that instead of Edge or Chrome. And then a .zip file, if you're using anything other than the built-in Windows Explorer. So like a WinZip. Four, run Windows Update and update your drivers. 
So we'll go ahead and just hit check for updates. I think I've already applied most of them um, for the main drivers for my system and any other uh, security updates for Windows. And five, create a system restore point to save your settings just in case for the future. So we'll open up recovery options and hit system restore. So we're gonna to have to create a new system restore which will just kind of take our current working configuration and allow us to choose that later on if we run into issues. Give it a name. And then hit create and it'll create that system restore point. So there's obviously a ton more that you can customize and upgrade and some great apps that can help to make the OS truly yours, but maybe that's something we'll dig into in another video. Are you running Windows 11? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. It helps out the channel and I greatly appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.